the school, our research program tries to look at new forms of storytelling. So this trial has been a great way to test out what it means to have augmented reality, mixed reality experiences, and how we author those, how people experience them. We're bringing together technologists and artists and academics to really start brainstorming and come up with new ideas of what could be done on the network. 5G is the new wireless standard and technology that is beginning to be deployed now. And we think that 5G can help be a catalyst for innovation and creativity. And we are hungry for experiences that are very visual, very interactive, and very personalized. 5G combined with multi-axis edge computing will help us enable new worlds. We're really interested in this proof of concept to understand how augmented reality and untethered location-based entertainment resonates with consumers. We chose Scarecrow because his alter ego, Dr. Crane, is a professor of psychology at a university. Dr. Crane and Scarecrow love to do experiments about fears, and we thought that was a fantastic storyline for this type of experience. The most exciting thing for me has been getting to work with this small team of folks from lots of different backgrounds, with lots of different skill sets, trying to figure out how do you bring like, Batman and Scarecrow physically into a space with people when they don't you know, physically exist. The reason collaboration is so important to the lead up for 5G is that each of the companies that we're collaborating with brings a specific amount of expertise in particular areas. And so when we learn from them and they learn from us, we just believe that it's a better experience for the, for the end user ultimately. For me, after almost 40 years of working on early versions of AR and VR, I think 5G finally provides a tech that's going to enable us to li literally walk around and have virtual characters around us and all kinds of wonderful, evocative virtual experiences.